Reef Dudes is sponsored by Ecotech Marine and Bulk Reef Supply. Today we're checking out the new Tunes High Jet. What's going on guys, Devin from Reef Dudes. Now I've been setting up my desktop Nano for a little bit, it's been cycling in the past few weeks and topping it off is really starting to get old. Now everyone knows the 3155, the Osmo Leader's been around for ages, it's you know very solid and reliable, but the pump is noisy. So I decided to pick up the Tunes High Jet to hopefully make things a lot quieter for this new tank. Especially being right beside my desk, quiet is definitely your friend. Um, so we'll do a little bit of comparison between the new pump and the old pump. So this is the new one. Uh, it would be nice if it came inside the box instead of having to buy it separately. That kind of sucked. Um, I've heard rumors that in the future reversion it might be, so hopefully. Um, but so here's the super tiny little guy. It is a very tiny little pump, as you can see. Um, this one's called the Hijet. And it's basically what you'd look like any other DC pump, but miniaturized. So pretty cool. It does have the quarter inch push connector on the front. It does come with a length of tubing with this one. Now, however, I'm going to be running this one a little bit longer. And so I did pick up some of the quarter inch, the Drew's dosing from BRS, uh, mainly just because I wanted to get a super long length of it. So I for sure had enough. So what I plan on doing is I already have an auto top off for my vivarium and that is in the cabinet here. So I'm going to put my little Tunesy pump inside of that, kind of wrap it around back of the cabinet and hook it up to the nano so i don't have to have another auto top off container so it just makes sense but first i am curious to check it out and just kind of see how the noise compares between this one and the old one and then we'll get installed and just for comparison's sake that is the old design this is the new design it is technically smaller if you look at the bottom of it minus this little nipple sticking up on the top of it now one other nice little touch with the tunesy is it's just easy to extend the wires they just have little push connectors so it should be really easy for me to put an extension on this. So just for fun, let's just try setting up for the decibel meter. So right now with me talking, it goes up to 60, but just ambient room noise around 42. Now keep in mind, this is six inches away, so it's going to be louder, but. So 48, 49 dB at about six inches away. So substantially quieter. All right, so I'm not touching the glass. We're at around 55 dB and touching the glass, 57, 58. Um, so that, compared to the other pump, is a massive reduction in noise level. Now the Tunesy ATO is far from the cheapest one. It's actually kind of an expensive one, but one thing I do really appreciate about it is it does have an optical and a float sensor. So you have two different types of technology. So if for whatever reason, you know, the optical sensor is dirty or something fails on it, you have a float sensor for backup. So I do really appreciate that kind of different technologies from a fail-safe perspective. Now, they do sell a cheaper nano version, which just uses a float valve and would just mount on one of these magnets. And that's kind of a smaller one. And honestly, this is the same thing, but you got an optical sensor as well and ready to get her mounted. Now just use the magnets and pop that into the back of your return pump chamber and you're good to go. So I got the new pump installed in my mystery container for the vivarium. So this gets auto topped off alongside my reef tank whenever that one gets auto topped off. So it's always kind of refilling itself which makes life nice and easy. So that guy is in there floating and the wire goes back all the way around out the cabinet, behind it, around, up the wall and to the back of the tank. Now I also extended the wires for the pump and I have a very, very long tube on it. So at least now I don't have to worry about a separate ATO for this and it's topped off with the other one. Now I actually attached the controller underneath the desk. I just hot glued a magnet to the back so it made it really easy to attach to my sanding desk leg and nice easy way to keep it out of the way. And you can see with the wires on here, I have my very long extension that wraps around the cabinet to the motor. Now with the pump living inside of this cabinet with the door shut, I do not even really hear it kick on, like barely if I'm very paying attention to it. So it is super duper quiet. Now in contrast to that, there is another pump, the original Tunesy one, which we showed you in the, the noisy one of the test that comes with the 3155 in an ATO container behind my controller board. And that guy is loud. You cannot miss that one. So it kind of shows the difference of how much quieter this guy is. So there you guys have it. This guy is, if you have that, you know, OCD with making your tank as quiet as possible, it's in your living room, it's in a bedroom, then I'd say this is definitely a valid upgrade. If, you know, you have a sump room where your equipment's somewhere far away and you don't really care, then you probably don't need it. 
but for a very tiny little DC pump that's super quiet, I'm definitely happy with it. And I will be upgrading the one on the roof tank beside me as well to help quiet it down. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. As always, if you did hit that like button for new, make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next update.